So the scope of the project within Alberta, um, it's, oh, it's approximately 25 million hectares in scope right now. Again, at one meter resolution, so this is a very, very large undertaking that we're currently in the, in the midst of. Um, it's an initiative that started back in 2004 uh, through partnership uh, with the GOA, uh, with UNB, and various industry partners, uh, predominantly in the forest industry. Uh, we've had one postdoc and uh, eight master students so far run through the, the program that have been assisting uh, on the analysis and field validation of some of this work. And uh, the initial work was a primary output through funding of the Sustainable Forest Management Network uh, and through FRIA. And the intent is to deliver seamless output based off of this high resolution LIDAR data uh, with an accuracy of plus or minus five meters at 70% confidence. In actual fact, the, the numbers tend to be more accurate than that, but this is essentially what we've uh, agreed upon to incorporate into the metadata standards for this data set. Uh, so we've so far rolled out, sorry, yes? The resolution vertical and horizontal. Uh, there, that tends to be more in the, we've done a lot more validation in the horizontal than we have in the vertical just because of the additional effort required to, to dig so many soil pits. Um, but we've done just in the past two years about 480 uh, sample sets to, to try to help validate that work. Um, now currently we've, as I'll be showing in some of this, this presentation here, there's been some advancements made to the model. Uh, and so the validation that existed on previous iterations might have to kind of be redone. Um, but yes, there's been a, a fairly substantial effort undergone for the uh, field validation work to date. So um, the phases that we've rolled out this project in so far, uh, we started in the south uh, and we call it the Foothills Phase 1 area. Um, when we ran through there, we didn't have a whole lot of issues. Uh, it was fairly high relief, you know, we were into the, a lot of elevation areas. Um, and so that was the first phase that we delivered. As we moved up, you know, north a little bit, when it, we went into phase two, which we called DMI East. So as we moved into the boreal, we started to come up with some, some particular challenges that we had to deal with. And I'll be walking through some of these challenges and how we overcame them as we proceed through this presentation here. Uh, next, we went into DMI West, which is phase three. Uh, that hasn't been officially released yet, but it's been delivered. Uh, and as far as I know, will be uh, released fairly shortly. We've done some other work, uh, you know, with the advancements to the model, we re-ran some subsections of phase one. Uh, just to try to, you know, classify and validate some of these uh, enhancements. Uh, next, we ran through a small area uh, by Wabasca, we call it, uh, followed by a little piece in SEMA, so as we started to venture into the oil sands. Uh, and this is the remaining LiDAR coverage that we have, so the project isn't done yet. We've, we've processed about 18 to 20 million hectares uh, at, you know, different versions of the tool, um, but there's still a fairly substantial effort required to, to finish this project.